other than that, you know, it's, it's shit second nature, bro. Mm. Your daughter, bro. All pizza, your daughter, bro. You know what I'm like, I seen your daughter, like, she was with Lil Uzi Bird, right? Like, she was signed with Lil Uzi Bird, right? Nah, she wasn't, you know, she wasn't technically signed to him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, she, You made that happen because you was in the game, right? Like, you, you really made nah, that happen. Nah, nah, nah. See, a lot of people think that because of, you know, my relationships and shit with, uh, with Flip and, you know, certain other people or whatever that I made it happen, but I ain't gonna take credit for something I ain't do. My daughter made that happen on her own, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? She, my daughter was a hustler, man, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, she was, her drive was strong as a motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, she was promoting her own music, you know what I'm saying? Getting herself out there and Uzi, you know, caught on and reached out to her and kind of took her up on his wing. And he did a lot for her, put her in some great positions. Uzi a good dude, he a real one for sure, but, she wasn't signed to Uzi. She actually was in talks with uh, Kodak, Kodak yeah. Black. Before. Mm. Oh, Kodak. man. Yeah. She was in talks with Kodak Black? Yeah, you know, when uh when my daughter passed, you know, he posted some screenshots of their DMs and, you know, them going back and forth, talking about the contract. He actually had just bought her a car, which she didn't even know. Shout out to Kodak. And, um, you know, but he... He put all that on the gram, you know, when she passed and shit, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, he had some great intentions. Un un unfortunately, she didn't, you know, she didn't get to live to see that, but, you know, it yeah. is what it is. I seen a little Uzi, like, like, uh, look, like, Lil Flip doing it, and Rosewood Trucks hit your uh, daughter friend and were like, you and Lil Flip was tight? Yeah, all locked in. Yeah, 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 that's my little brother. You know what I'm saying? You know. If you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? That's a little bro, you know what I'm saying? You know, he he came down, you know what I'm saying, for support, the funeral, you know, him and Uzi one together, you know what I'm saying? But of course, you know, they snapped it up or whatever the case may be. But yeah, that's my little brother, for sure. How did relationships start like you and Lil Flip? Well, you know, back in the day, um, you know, it's like the environment I come from, we, we always trying to find a better way. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I was investing in a few hip hop concepts. Hey, uh, far, like, we're going to speak about the op situation. No jump, Fulio. You know what I'm saying? Like, with the op situation, he was speaking on, like, with your daughter, this and his ops. Like, how you feel about that? How, what now? Like, Fulio spoke about, spoke on your daughter, this and his uh, and You know what I'm saying? He, he had the song with your daughter, this and his ops. You know what I'm talking about? Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, my take on that is, you know what I'm saying? You know, I don't, I don't know Julio. I ain't never met him personally or nothing like that. But I just feel like, like he should have pulled her to the side and like, look, that's dope. You, you're doing something. You're speaking on something that ain't got nothing to do with you. You know what I'm saying? And it's a dangerous situation. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, by her looking up to him in the rap game or whatever, I feel like, she would have listened, you know what I'm saying, if he would have been adamant about the fact that he didn't want her to do that. You know what I'm saying? Now, I don't know Jumper. He said that, you know, he spoke to her about it, you know. How in-depth he did, I don't know. I can't say I went there, you know what I'm saying? But if it was me in his shoes, I wouldn't have let her make that verse. I would have, I would have got her to change it, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, at the end of the day, you know, she was still a female, you know what I'm saying? And uh, a lot of females, sometimes they say things that, you know, they don't understand the repercussions and consequences. You know what I'm saying? They come, they come with it. Mm, and it's real. But then after she died, Jay died, came right after. Like, and this tough, did it, like, how you felt about this situation, bro? I, I mean, you know, by that being my daughter, of course, you know what I'm saying? It ruined me the wrong way. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, but, you know, I. I got alligator skin, Stan G, you know what I'm saying? You know, and I done been through so much, you know what I'm saying? You know, this shit like that, don't, you know what I'm saying? Some shit upsets you the next hour is, you know what I'm saying? It is, I, you know, when I when I look back on this shit, I got to look at it from, I guess, from j Dot point of view too, you know what I'm saying? It's like, here it is, a female dissing your brother that got killed and y'all ain't never met her, you know? So when my daughter passed, he took it upon his 
stuff to diss her, you know what I'm saying? Which I ain't gonna never agree with, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I just feel like Fulio could have stopped all this shit, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Real talk. So if, if you say Fulio to, like, if you got to, uh, well, I get Fulio, he gonna hear this right anyway, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. All right, let's get to some more meat and potatoes, man. Everybody saying, Nothing like that, but one, you know, another thing that I want to address, you know, what I'm saying was again the press rewind the fact that all the bloggers and shit was consistently trying to associate uh my daughter's death with my current situation, and it had absolutely nothing at all to do with it. As a as a man, I don't know if you got kids, but um, I wouldn't be, be able to sit here do no interview with you in this space if I knew that someone had something to do with my daughter being killed. It's just you know again, again but I see it. You know what I'm saying, and I don't see it. You know what I'm saying because so I, so why you made that that post and you was apologizing like in that post? Are you are you? Referring to the post that I made when I told her I apologize for my lifestyle, cursing her, man. Mm -hmm. My daughter, her side of the family, from her mom, grandmama, uncles, and all them people, good people. You know what I'm saying? You know, they heavily involved in church and all of that. So, you know, it's like all the things that she picked up on growing up, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get some money and, 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 and hustling it. I feel like she got there from me and she picked it up from seeing me doing what I was doing in the streets when I was in the streets. And so that was just me apologizing to her for that. You know what I'm saying? It ain't had nothing to do with my current situation or nothing like that. Anybody that know, they know what happened to my daughter and the reason. But again, the bloggers, they just gonna post anything for clickbait. It is what it is. Okay. Man, man, thank you for coming through blessing my 